Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I received this box in the mail a while ago and I'm just getting around to reviewing it. This is another cheap miniature batch by Wildspire. I've purchased a few of their items on Kickstarter before and I kind of love their stuff, so uh, let's get right to it. Alright, so let's crack this thing open and see what we got inside. We're gonna have... Let's just dump them all out. Why not? Let's see what's up. Look at that. We got a little book. Um, that's actually that's actually kind of cool. This is a stat book of all the characters you're about to see. So let's get into that in a minute. Let's just see. First, we got our we got our devil guy. Um, this guy's pretty cool. He is. Um, don't remember his name. This has been so long, I forgot what all these characters' names are. So, um, I'll look them up and tell you what their names are. I think it's an Arc Devil or something like that. Let's see. What we got here? Yeah, Arc Devil. Um, so, that's neat. Um, that's a pretty extensive, that's a pretty big miniature. Compared to the little ones are going to be about that big. So, that's actually a neat little sculpt. I love these Monsters of Salon just in general, I love all these things that these guys do from Wildspire. They have bizarre creatures and characters that you wouldn't necessarily encounter all the time, but they're great if you need them. So, the big one that came with this set is called the Bookish Dragon. Look at that. That is really neat sculpt. Lots of detail on there. I definitely, um, if you're painting that up, that would be a neat thing to paint up. And it looks like everything's going to fit nicely. Let's just see what the wings look like on there. Wrong one. So, there we go. With the wings. So that's actually a neat little dragon right there. Look at that. It's a cool little dragon. And, of course, it comes with a nice little base. You can set it on, so... There we've got our dragon, our big bookish dragon and the Arc Devil. And now... It comes with all these things that are uh, there are four different sets. So there, you get four to four of this four of each in different colors of each miniature. We'll break those out in a minute. This one is interesting. This one's called the Shark and Bear, <laughs> I believe. I don't know if I would ever use that for anything. The Shark and Bear. Yeah, I don't know if I would ever encounter a uh, bear with shark arms, but I have it, and it was cheap and. Uh, yeah, and actually he's got great texture on that bear. So, shark and bear. Don't know what I'd use it for, but uh, I'm glad I have it. And then this person, this is actually a neat little miniature. What is that? Um, I have to look it up in the book. Uh, see what the, see what it is, because I forgot what the name of it was. There it is. Pass it. There we go. This is an armored lumia. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that is. Some sort of. What is that? That's like on a on a wolf, a wolf. Uh, it's a character that's on like a wolf body. It's not a centaur. It's not a horse. It's not a wolf. So interesting. I mean, I can definitely see if you're running a campaign with lots of wizards and and warlocks and things that can create spells that can bind different animals and different things together uh, you can definitely use that for that so that's kind of neat alright let's dump these things out I think they got the entire set for 45 bucks on Kickstarter it was a Kickstarter campaign and uh, so that definitely falls into my realm of cheap miniatures so I'm just gonna go through one of these because like I said there are four different colors of each thing so this set's going to be complete, and then just know that there's four different colors. So let's just start from the beginning. This is, ooh, look at that. This is a, that's a pug. That is, what is that called? Um, this is a hell pug. A hell pug. Not sure purple is the is the set to go with. Let me pour out, like, the, gr the gray one. I think that will be easier to see on camera. I mean, let's do that. Let's do the gray one. I think that'll be a little easier to see the details on camera. Sorry guys, this is my first review back and I'm not used to 
uh, filming yet, so uh, I'm, I'm getting into it. So where's the hell pug? There it is. So now you can see a little, little bit more detail of that hell pug. It's a neat little character. I can definitely see it's a small character, but uh, interesting. They did a, they had another pug in one of their other sets. I forgot about. I'll, I'll, I'll link to my other video I did uh, of them, and I'll, I'll put a link in the description too. Okay, this is a goblin shaman, I believe. Let's see, Goblin Shaman, uh, yes, Goblin Shaman. So that is a neat little character, actually, um, wearing a little, little ceremonial hat. Um, can definitely fix the staff there, but Goblin Shaman. These are these are uh, you know plastic, but they do hold up really well with paint and all that kind of stuff because I've painted some up in the past. I don't know if I'll get to painting them uh, this time. This is Turtle Folk. It looks like a pirate turtle. What is it? What is it? A pirate turtle, huh? A Turtle Folk Pirate, yeah. So, Turtle Folk Pirate. So if you're doing a pirate campaign or you're even doing a Turtle Folk campaign, you can use it. It's okay that it's got a pirate hat. doesn't bother me. I'd still use it in the game. So there you have it, Turtle Folk Pirate. Um, this is, okay, I, I love these kinds of things because they do this a lot. This is, uh, what's this one called? She's riding, she's riding, a, she's riding, there it is, Forest Gnome Scout. She's riding a frog, and I think that's really cool to have characters riding a frog. It doesn't have to be a Forest Gnome, it can be any type of character that you want it to be, um, but someone riding a giant frog, I think that's kind of cool. So there you go, riding a giant frog. This is going to be a forest gnome, I think. A forest, forest something. Forest guardian. Forest guardian, which is interesting to have a whole bunch of these uh, in the forest. So the people that guard the trees and guard the land and, you know, the D&D &D version of environmentalist, you might say. But uh, paint that up like wood. That can be kind of cool. Maybe have a green beard like it's mo a mossy beard. Um, that would be neat. Okay, this one is just a generic character. But neat. It's called... What is she called? It's going to take me a while to look all these up. Um, not sure what she was called, but there she is. It's a Tiefling Outlander. Tiefling Outlander, sorry. Tiefling Outlander. So that's kind of an interesting sculpt. This is neat. This is the the mushroom uh, right here. This is the shroom druid. So you've got a mushroom that uh, has been brought to life, or a druid that has been turned into a mushroom, one or the other. But that could be fun in some sort of strange setting. Again, all these don't necessarily work in the in the the general world, but they're all characters, the outlander characters that you always need some sort of character. That's bizarre, and that's where they fit in. That's their kind of niche. And this is a neat little character. This can be used as any winged character, really. Um, I should just go through the book. And... This can be used. There she is. This is a uh, Aranus Bard. Aran, Arans, Arans, Aran, Aranies, Aran, I don't know, but it's neat. And. uh... I mean, you can use that for any kind of winged character. It can even be a siren, which would work good, I think. So, let's see. What else we got here? Let's just go through the book and we'll figure them out. This is a... Uh, what is that? Oh, this is a character that has been devoured by rats. This, if you can imagine this character... I think I remember this. If I can find it. This is a, a swarm of rats that has gotten on top of maybe I'm wrong thought I had something like that I'm trying to yeah there's definitely a whole bunch of rats on this character it's a lizard folk or something with rats all over it interesting what's it called swarm of something I don't see I don't recognize it from the list I'll find it I'll, I'll end up getting through here I'll figure it out. I'll figure out what that one is. Uh, this one, you've got a beer golem. And that is 
very interesting. I can definitely see using this in a tavern setting where everyone's drunk and have, having a good time. Maybe they're singing songs and the uh, the beer keg comes to life and attacks. I think that's kind of fun. So that would be a fun one to paint up if I'm, if I'm going to do that. Um, this person is just a gnome. Probably just a regular old little gnome. There we go. A deep gnome worker. Deep gnome worker. So you can use that as any type of gnome. Carrying a backpack with uh, something in it. Could be anything. So, but just that can be used as a generic gnome. And this guy, that's some sort of cat thing. Some sort of cat thing. Which is, there she is. House Cat Folk Bandit. I don't know why. If it's a cat, I think it's a woman. It doesn't have to be. Cat Folk Bandit. Uh, now, this one's holding a pistol. So, I wouldn't necessarily use this in my D&D &D game because I don't have guns or gunpowder in my D&D &D game. But. If I really wanted to use something like this, I could easily just slice off that gun and make make him her, her holding a sword. Um, definitely. Okay, we got another winged little dragon there. What is that, a drake? Some sort of little drake. Um, Ratmancer, by the way. That's what that other character is, a Ratmancer. Which is a, a giant rat swarmed by more rats. Okay. So maybe he has the ability to swarm rats on you. Yeah, he does. He has the ability to, if you get near him, he can make the rats attack. So <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Um, that's just a miniature little dragon. Just a little miniature dragon. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, maybe that's a small bookish. That's the adult bookish dragon. There we go. This is, the, oh, this is a, a miniature bookish dragon. So... That's the the big dragon. This is like the dragon minion, or, or it's it's sire. It's a little baby dragon, but it can be used as any sort of dragon if you want. So that's kind of kind of neat. Bookish dragon wormling. It says. Okay, now this is some sort of siren. Sire, there we go. This is a coastal siren. Now that is a neat character. I can definitely see you're by a lake, you're by the ocean, you're somewhere, and this thing comes out. And sings songs and does things to your character. Puts them under a spell. That's kind of fun. This is another gnome-like character. Don't know exactly what it is. Um, there it is. Goblin. Goblin Bombardier. Bombardier. These are strange names. But it's fun. Just a little little goblin wreaking havoc on things. Looks like it's holding a... It, in the book, it's holding a bomb of some kind, but it, it doesn't have to be a bomb if you're using D&D. &D. It could be anything. And then this last one is a lizard folk. And lizard folk, you can always use lizard folk for just everything. Lizard folk assassin. I like that. Lizard folk assassin. Not too keen on the uh, sunglasses, but if I was going to paint that up, maybe I would not include the sunglasses in my paint job maybe i would you could even dremel those down just make big eye eye socket holes to to use as a lizard folk so there you have it you guys um that is the complete set you get four different colors i'm going to put the link in the i'll put the link for the kickstarter uh in the description although it ended like in 2019 i mean this has been forever i don't remember i don't even remember when i bought it but that's it. Thank you guys, and uh, I will see you soon with another cool review.